What's going on guys, welcome to a new video. So in this one, I'm gonna show you five of the biggest products to drop ship in Q4. These are all handpicked by myself and data backed. So these aren't just random products that I've plucked out of thin air for the sake of doing a YouTube video. These are all products that are backed by data and I'm gonna be taking you through that and showing you that in the video. So if you're watching this video, looking for a product to invest yourself in and commit to and take advantage of this great time of year, of the most profitable time of year for any e-commerce business, then I highly recommend giving one of these products a go and so with that being said thanks for tuning in let's jump straight into product number one so product number one is this flame effect diffuser let's take a look at the product on aliexpress just so you can see how cool this product is and the effects that it creates in my opinion it's guaranteed to get attention on facebook diffusers over the last sort of five or six years have really increased in demand and more and more people are buying them however as we come into q4 that demand increases dramatically and i can prove this to you by showing you the Google Trends information. So if we have a look at this graph from Google Trends, so this is for the search term of diffuser in the UK since 2004, we can see since kind of like, since 2013, 2014 really, the demand for them has been pretty non-existent, but there's been a slow and gradual increase. So we can see that demand year on year since 2015 has increased and always exceeded the previous year. So if history is anything to go on, the demand for this product will be at an all time high come December time this year, which in turn makes it a great option to capitalize on Q4. We can see from this supplier here, we can buy this product for 13 pounds and five pence. And this also comes with guaranteed 15 days shipping my advice would be to sell this product to 39.99 so about 40 pounds leaving a profit margin a healthy profit margin of 26 pounds and 94 pence per sale by the way i forgot to mention you want a copy of this presentation with all of the products and all of the links to aliexpress google trends recommended prices everything if we can get this video to say let's do 60 likes then i'll put a free link for everybody to get instant access to it in the pinned comment down below my recommended interests on facebook for this product would be led lamp home decor products, interior design, and lighting designer. This is gonna target people who take pride in what the interior of their homes looks like. They also have a passion for lighting products. So we combine both of these interests together with the audience that we target. Product number two is a completely different audience, but again, it's in one of the niches, probably the biggest niche of Q4, which is of course toys. The reason I like this product so much is because it solves the biggest pain point with these types of products. So when it comes to any remote control, whether it's a car or plane, or I featured a, a dinosaur in my video last week, the biggest issue is always them breaking because they're usually quite fragile because they're traveling at high speeds and planes can obviously fall from the sky. The reason I like this product so much is because it's pretty much indestructible. If we take a look at this video from this particular supplier, I'll try and turn this down a little bit so it's not too loud. If I'm correct, this is the video where they show the plane being ran over and still working. I think they show somebody stamping on it at some point as well. So like I said earlier, it fixes that pain point. People don't have to worry about this being broken the first time they use it. They're gonna get many uses out of it. If we take a look at the search term for remote control toy in the UK since 2004, we can see that it's pretty much at a breakout point. So in these last couple of weeks, there's been a massive surge and massive spike in popularity and trend for these particular toys, which again, makes it a great option for a product that you can start drop shipping right away. It's readily available to capitalize on Q4. So we've just seen we can buy this product for 16 pounds and four pence, which is really cheap in my opinion. I'd recommend selling this product for about 50 pounds. You could probably sell it for a little bit more, but start with 50 pounds and see how things go. Because even still at this price, it leaves a really healthy profit margin of 33 pounds and 95 pence. My recommended targets and interests would definitely be to start with parents with preteens. So anybody over the age of sort of eight plus, I would definitely target. There's lots of different age ranges that you can target. So you could split these up ad set by ad set, see which one is working best and then double down on the most profitable ranges. I'd also include interests like hot toys. So these are gonna be the really popular toys people are looking for for Q4. Toys R Us is still an interest you can target even though they've gone out of business. That way you're gonna make sure that you're targeting parents who 
used to shop there or have an interest in toys and therefore have children. And I would also recommend targeting Smith Superstore, which is probably the biggest toy store here in the UK right now. Product number three is this pressure point release for the neck. Products like this always do really well on social media, on platforms like Facebook when advertising, and it's because they have a real kind of attention grabbing or wow factor in the videos. So you may have seen that back cracker or back relief or pain relief product. It's basically like a curved shape plastic thing with prods in basically like this is for your neck but it's for your back and there's a viral video that went round on pretty much every platform and it starts by somebody lying on it and then there's an artificial sound of somebody's back cracking but it has such a kind of impact on somebody it's the sort of noise that makes you shiver when you hear it so i definitely think a product like this could do the same thing with the same style of video ad creative another reason why i really like this product is because it's super cheap making it a super easy one to get started in the cheaper products are always going to be easier to sell because it's obviously a lot easier to convince somebody to convert on 25 pounds than it is say 50 pounds or 75 pounds so from this particular supplier i recommend everybody do your due diligence um, when it comes to research on suppliers to make sure you have the right one for you this is obviously going to depend on what country you're drop shipping to for this particular supplier i found they have again guaranteed 15 day delivery i've mentioned it in past previous videos so i'll only touch on it now but my advice would be to always try and source your products off of aliexpress because you tend to find better suppliers or better agents away from this platform. AliExpress is great for product research and it's great for showing you the actual product so you can see all the information, prices, that sort of thing. But any good dropshipper will know that you'll be better off going to somebody like CJ Dropshipping or an agent to source your products from because they're typically higher quality and you get better treatment as well. If we look at the Google Trends information for neck massager, this one actually quite surprised me. And um, There's not really been much demand at all since 2015, but what we can see is there's been an increase increase in demand year on year since 2015 and it always peaks um, in popularity in December. Now 2020 was the highest but if we kind of ignore that because that was COVID year it's probably when most people or more people were working from home or working from desks that sort of thing that's probably why that's so high but we can see the general trend is it always increases in popularity so if i had to make an educated guess i would say that this is going to increase in popularity to somewhere in and around where it was last year if not a little bit higher so we've just seen we can buy this product for three pounds 95 delivered to the customer I recommend a retail price of $24.99. That's a really cheap product. You may be able to sell it for a little bit more than that, but even so, this still leaves a pretty decent profit margin of £21 and four pence per sale. My recommended interests for this product would not be parents with preteens. I just need to update this. I'll be back in a second. Take two, my recommended interests for this product would be massage, acupuncture, relaxation, and stress relief. These are all based around that person who wants to, well, relieve stress, relax more, and is into taking care of their body um, and wants to make sure that they're in tip top shape. Another reason why it's a great option for Q4 is because it makes it fits the bill of that gift kind of market. It's cheap enough to be considered a gift and it's also and it also has a real benefit to somebody making it a thoughtful present as well. Next up we have this DIY um, felt Christmas tree. So let's take a look at it on AliExpress. So there's various different options ranging from sort of £4.61 all the way up to £6.14. So either way, it's a pretty cheap product. Also comes with that 15 day delivery as well. But let's take a look at what you can actually do with this product. Let's take a look at the video from the supplier. So this is actually a really poor video. Probably should have found a better example, but I think hopefully they must show you what you can do. There we go. So you can see there's different kind of shapes and things which you can pin on the tree. I think there's one that even comes with lights as well. So it's a great way for parents to interact with their children and have some fun together. And perhaps if their children are a little bit small and they don't want them decorating the real tree in case they pull it over or whatever, um, this is a great alternative that they can still stick up on the wall and every single day the child can play with it and redecorate it if they so choose. I obviously don't need to show you the information, the Google Trends information for this product, but for sake of um, keeping it uniform through the video, we can see that there's zero demand for Christmas decoration until sort 
out of August, September time, we can see it's just starting to creep up now. So again, if history repeats itself, this is going to get somewhere in and around where the demand was last year, if not a little bit higher still. So we've seen we can buy the products for £4.61. My recommended retail price would be $29.99. If you go for one that has lights, you could definitely bump this up to 40, maybe even 50 pounds. It's going to entertain a child for an hour a day, maybe even more than that. And to a parent, it's probably worth um, at least 30 pounds to do that. So that leaves a profit margin of 25 pounds and 38 pence per sale. My recommended interests for this product would be a combination of Christmas and also those parents and children who have an interest in DIY and crafts. So these are gonna be parents who are used to helping their kids paint things and make things. And this kind of product kind of feeds into that. Um, parent hacks. So these are parents who look for different ways of making their lives easier, Christmas decorations, and of course, creative ideas. The final product I wanna show you, but this is kind of a niche in itself in that bike lights go crazy for Q4 because because as the clocks go back, it gets darker. People need lights to commute to and from work or to friends' houses, wherever they're going, they're gonna be doing it in the dark, so they need a good light. Here's one though that I found myself, which is pretty cool. I did sell a different variation of this before. Um, however, this one's slightly more expensive and has some cooler features. So let's take a look at them on AliExpress. So at 25 pounds, it's towards the top end, getting on considered a high ticket product. But if we take a look at what the actual light does, in my opinion, it warrants that higher price point because the different features of it are pretty cool to be honest so this one is just shows you how to fit the light it shows you how the light works how it can indicate left and right which is pretty cool it can do it both ways and if we go through the images we can see it's got ambient light detection so these are all things you could illustrate in your ad because of the type of niche it is it's definitely the sort of thing that people are going to be like oh that's pretty cool i'm going to buy that i believe it's rechargeable as well which is also really important for bike lights when i saw bike lights in the past which were only battery powered people didn't like that i'd get comments all the time it has this ambient light detection which is pretty self-explanatory. If it's daytime, it doesn't light up. If it's nighttime, it does. Also has this cool kind of lane feature which projects onto the road so any other cars can make sure they don't kind of go in that space and it just makes sure that people gives you give you enough space to get around you, which is a safety feature, which you can point out in your ad creative. And what it also has is this automatic brake detection, which is pretty cool. So when braking, the tail light will automatically switch to a flash to indicate or warn other road users behind you that you're slowing down, which in turn is gonna make them more alert and in turn be safer and more aware of where you are and what you're doing. So all in all, in my opinion, a great product. If we take a look at the Google Trends information for this as well, we can see bike light in the UK 2004 to present. There's a pretty strong demand all year round really, but certainly more in the winter months. So obviously it's at its kind of lowest in the summer months when it's light until nine, 10 o'clock at night, but then it kind of reaches peak popularity, October sort of November time, October, November, October, November, December. And we can see that it's coming up to that peak popularity now, making it a great product to consider selling right away. So we saw we could buy this product for 25 pounds. My recommended retail price would be 59.99 for a decent bike light. They are expensive. I got some bike lights for a new bike of mine. Um, in May time, actually, I think it was. Um, and for a decent one that's rechargeable, lithium battery, you are talking sort of 30, 40, 50 pounds. So for a light that has all these added extra features, then definitely think you could get away with selling it for 60. This in turn would leave a profit margin of about 35 pounds per sale. As for the interests I'd recommend for this product, they certainly wouldn't be random ones. These need to be ones specifically for people who are cycling on the road. Mountain bike users probably won't need this unless they're on the road. But to make sure you are tagged in the most likely audience who have a need and requirement for this product go for bicycle commuting go for cycling club ride to work and of course road bicycle and so with that being said then guys that is my five biggest products to drop ship in q4 i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope you've seen a product in this video that ignites the fire that makes you want to start your drop shipping business so my advice to anybody watching this video now would be to close youtube down get to work on your business start building your store pick one of these products get a real nice slick ad creative built out you've got the facebook interest to test as well put it out there and you never know what's going to happen if you have any questions on anything at all just drop them below and i will reply to you make sure you drop me a subscribe as well if you're interested in seeing more of my videos make sure you hit like as well so i know that you enjoyed this video so i know what type of content to to make and last but not least thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one